Hi everyone and welcome to the AWS Certified Security Specialty video course. I am Zeel and by profession I am a Certified Ethical Hacker and I am going to be your instructor throughout the course. Now one of the first question comes specifically for the small medium based organization is that is security really required? And the answer to this is definitely. Now if we talk about the year 2016 alone there were more than 25,000 websites which were reported to be hacked. And recently Yahoo came up with a report about 1 billion user accounts being compromised. And this is just the gist about the overall security breaches that happened. So if you see security is one of the next big thing now. Now the problem here is that earlier the entire battle was between hackers and the organization. But now the battle has reached to an entire different level. So this is the age of cyber warfare where the cyber battle is not only between hackers and organization but between country and countries. So generally nowadays each country are forming their own cyber armies. Now few of the examples are of Indian cyber army, you have US cyber command, you have Russian cyber army, you also have Iranian cyber army. So from this only you can actually see that the next battle is going to be on the cyber space. And this is one of the reasons why security is the most most important thing now for each and every organization. And this is something which even AWS realized and this is one of the reasons why AWS came up with a security specialty certification. And this is one of the first security certification in the AWS panel and is intended for those who are working as a security specialist or for those who intend to protect their AWS cloud environment. Now I'm very very excited for this particular video course and let's see on what we are going to cover for this certification course. So this slide is pretty much jam packed that means that we are going to have a very interesting course. Now definitely we will be focusing on the security aspect of the AWS cloud in correlation with the real world scenarios. So we'll look into real world scenarios into how really the website gets hacked and we'll also look into the mitigation techniques on what could they had been doing to protect themselves from getting hacked. So the first thing that we'll look into is the understanding of the security responsibility model and then we'll go ahead and set up our own lab. Now once the lab is been set up we'll talk about the VPC and the networking part. We'll look into how we can design a security network architecture as well as we'll look into various things like network ACLs, security groups, VPC flow log and much more in detail. Once we are done with this we'll talk about the security logging and monitoring section where we'll talk about the security operations center and usage of various services like CloudWatch, CloudTrail, we have config in response to detection of various hacking attempts that happens within your AWS infrastructure. And the next is very important which is the S3 masterclass where we learn S3 in deep dive related to how we can use S3 in our overall security infrastructure. Now definitely the security is incomplete without cryptography. So we will be learning a lot about symmetric key and asymmetric key based algorithms. We'll be talking about hashing as well as various AWS services like key management service, cloud HSM, S3 encryption, EBS encryption. Then we'll talk about identity and access management which also includes the single sign-on and federation followed by the content delivery network. So this is where we'll talk about various attacks like denial of service, distributed denial of service. I'll also show you on how exactly a hacker performs those attacks 
and we'll look into how we can prevent those attacks with the help of various services like CloudFront, etc. Definitely, we'll speak about virtual private networks. And last but not the least, we'll talk about various governance, risk and compliance, where we'll be speaking about various security compliance like PCI DSS, ISO, SOC, etc. and their use in the enterprise security management system. So if you see pretty much jammed pack over here, this course is going to be really extensive and really exciting. Now, one thing that I really like to tell you on how we go ahead with the course is that we will not just focus on passing the exam. The main focus is on knowledge. So if you have the right knowledge, not only you will pass the exam easily, but it will also help you in your interviews and your existing infrastructure. So again, primary aim is to learn and this is the primary motto throughout the course that we launch. So if you talk about the simple example of security group, so generally people expect, okay, security group where the instructor will teach on what security group is and how to use it. But we follow the complete different way. So before we actually go ahead with the security group, we have lecture related to introduction of TCP IP based communication and firewall. Once we understand this, we'll understand the networking sockets. And here we'll also talk about various services like Wireshark and TCP dump. Once we understand this, we'll talk about the stateful and stateless nature of firewalls, followed by two modes of operation in firewalls. And so once we understand all of these things, then we go ahead with security group. And this is just a gist about how we will be approaching throughout this course. And I'm very much sure that if you follow the things that we have mentioned in this course, not only it will help you tremendously in your level of knowledge, but it will also help you prepare to a very good extent for this certification exams. So this is it about this lecture. I'm very much excited. And if you have any questions, doubts, feel free to connect to us on social media like Twitter or mail us at instructors at the rate kplabs.in. So I hope you found this lecture informative and I'd like to see you aboard. Thanks for watching.